It's me, Teacher Wilson John Mortel, and today we are going to learn, discover, and explore the world of science. Our lesson for today is all about living things and its characteristics. Are you ready to learn? That's good. Did you know that our world is made up of a variety of things? Look around you. What do you see? Yes, you may see people, plants, and even animals. The question is, what do you call those things? You're right, they are called living things. And living things have seven characteristics. Let's talk about the first one. Living things need food. For living things to survive on Earth, they have to eat and get energy they need. The question is, where we can get our foods? That's correct. We get our foods in our environment. People eat different kinds of food or healthy foods to live, study, and work. What else? Okay, animals such as horses, Carabaos, cows, goats, and animals who feed on plants also need food to survive. Do you know that plants make their own food using air, water, and sunlight through a process of photosynthesis? What's in this process? You're right. In this process, the plant uses light from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the roots to make its food. What do you go to the process again? Yes, it's photosynthesis. People, animals, and plants like grass also need water. Now, did you understand what the first characteristic of living things is all about? Good job, kids! Now, let's proceed to the second one. It's called Living things need air. People and animals need oxygen for breathing, while plants need carbon dioxide to make their own food. Both oxygen and carbon dioxide are gases that are parts of the air, and without them, living things would all die. Did you understand? That's great! Now let's proceed to the third characteristic. Living things grow. Living things can grow and develop. Their size, shape, and appearance change as they grow. For example, a puppy that becomes a dog, a kitten into a mature cat, and a baby that grows and becomes a great puppy like you, and many more. Did you understand? That's great. At this point, let us know about the fourth characteristic of living things. Living things move by themselves. Living things move in many different ways. When living things live in places where there are enough food and space, they will not only grow but move as well. To further understand, here are some examples. First, Children can run. Next, a bird can fly. Third, a fish can swim. Fourth, a snake can crawl. And lastly, a tree's roots can move under the ground. Did you get it? That's great. These are some examples of living things that move by themselves. Now, let's talk about the fifth characteristic of living things. Living things respond to changes. For example, the leaves of Makahiya or Mimosa plant fall up when they are touched. It only means that living things respond to changes around them. Living things respond to light, touch or feel, and Temperature. Examples are a sunflower moves 
toward the direction of the sun, and another one is when a person touches something hot, he or she automatically withdraws his or her hand. Did you understand? That's good. The next characteristic is living things reproduce. Living things can reproduce or produce young ones of their own kinds. For example, a mother gives birth to a baby. Another one, a mother hen lays eggs that become chicks. And the plant produces seeds that become new plants. That talks about living things reproduce. Did you understand it well? Good job! And lastly, let's talk about living things remove their waste. Living things remove their waste in their body. People and animals excrete or get rid of their body waste, which are mainly urine and feces. Did you know that the sweat of people also considered as waste? On the other hand, plants give off oxygen as the waste. Now you already know the different characteristics of living things. That's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you've learned a lot of things. See you next time. Bye!